Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy Monday to you. It is that time. It is Monday morning, and my name is Brittany Jennings. I'm with the Seniors Blue Book. We're bringing you this morning the weekend slash last week update on things that are happening around with our partners. So I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Um, it was definitely, for me, pretty relaxing. Um, did some fun things around town, uh, around town. And uh, this morning, I'm pleased to share with you several things. Um, and I want to really quick make an announcement about kind of the purpose of what this is and how you can participate. I like crowd participation. So with what we can up it, wow, hold on a second, guys. Let me just reverse this. Okay, coffee. So what weekend update is, is basically just going back into last week and sharing some stories um, through our partners, things that, they, that they're up to, that they're doing, uh, messages that they wanna share. And so if you are interested in uh, me covering something that you've done for the previous week, please let me know, I would love to do it. And so um, I wanna share first, um, Chelsea Place is one of our partners and uh, their adult daycare actually reopened and so here's a little video uh, sharing from Chris and the team over there at Chelsea Place, um, a little bit about their reopening. We're so excited to welcome everyone back to our daytime senior care and activity center and to ensure the health and the safety of all of our members, we'll be taking the following precautions such as hand hygiene, using hand sanitizer upon entering, as well as hand washing stations throughout the day, in addition to temperature checks for at least three times every single day. And when we're working in small group environments, we'll be using uh, disposable gloves for both our team as well as our members to play cards and different communal games. All of our team members will be wearing face masks throughout the day and for our members who enjoy specific activities, we'll have individual storage containers for each of them. You know, one of the hardest things is not being able to give everyone a big hug. So we'll be using uh, air hugs to uh, show everyone how much we care and love them. And you know, all of our team members will be using temperature checks throughout the day as well. So if you have any questions, you'd like to learn more, if you're caring for your mom, your dad, or a loved one at home, please reach out to Debbie for a tour, or you can take a virtual tour. We'll be happy to help in any way that we can. Thank you so much and have a great day. Awesome. So super excited for you guys, Chris, Amy, the team, Deborah over there. You guys are awesome. And uh, I know that the, um, the seniors that attend, um, they mean so much to you. They're just like family. And so being able to open your arms back up and invite them back in for activities means so much to them, their families, and of course, I'm sure your team. So this is something that we actually posted a video. And as we know right now, um, with what's going on in the world and specifically here in our area, of course, is, you know, you're not able to visit your loved one. And this is actually a moment that um, was shared. And of course it went viral over Facebook, but it's 70, a couple of 70 years are reunited. And so go ahead and get your tissue boxes out because uh, this one is incredible. Beautiful. As we should be. 
Okay, so the first time I admit it, I didn't watch the whole thing through because I couldn't make it. And that one got me. Um, what a beautiful love story. And of course, you know, as we age um, with this generation, you know, the fact that they've been married for 50, 60, 70 years, it's just incredible. It's incredible. So I hope I can find somebody who will like me and love me for that long. So I do want to share uh, Liana of North Sarasota. They have opened recently and they uh, have a beautiful community. It's over on uh, University Parkway near Tuttle and um, it is a uh, all memory care secure community. And uh, they are now, as I mentioned, open and accepting residents. So here's a little uh, picture slideshow of their community. So congratulations to Jeannie Davis and team over there at Liana. Um, next, I want to talk about Inspired Living for a moment. So Inspired Living is doing something called Feed the Frontline. Um, and it's actually a drive through dash and dine, and it's a food drive. Um, it's coming up this Wednesday, June 17th. It's from 4 to 6. And you can go through um, a couple of their communities, the Hidden Lakes community in Bradenton off of 41. Um, and then also in Sarasota, uh, their community down in, uh, well, by Philippi Creek, the Oyster Bar across the street there. Um, so there's a drive through uh, and drop off your donations for the Food Bank of Manatee and All Faiths Food Pantry in Sarasota. And um, it's going to be a delicious meal, chicken, pasta, alfredo, and garlic bread. And I'll take gar extra garlic bread, please. Um, so I just wanted to mention this, that they are doing this. This is a great cause. Um, and so again, if you're free on Wednesday to drop by, drive through um, either Hidden Lakes Inspired Living or Sarasota Inspired Living, please do so. Next story is um, this past week, um, we were able to do a marketing mania uh, virtually with a Banyan residence with Blake and Amy over there. And uh, so they have a, a, a lovely video that they have for people to see their community. I'm just going to show about a minute of it um, just so you can get an idea of the community, but it's located in Venice. And so um, Blake and Amy have a, their fantastic leadership team. And of course, Blake, um, his, it's in the family that they own the property. Um, and it's a very different uh, style environment, a lot of outdoor space. So take a look for yourself here.
Hi, I'm Blake Anderson. I'm the administrator here at Abandoned Residence. From our genuine compassion for the elderly, from the unique activities we have, and our breathtaking landscape, we really think you're gonna love it here. Welcome home. trees, the beauty of the scenery, the flowers, people that own the place, the gentleman is excellent. I've been in the field about 30 years and it's really rare to find a staff so dedicated for the residents' well-being. We have several partners that we partner with, home health, um, several physicians. We're really concerned about the well-being of your family. So that is a sneak peek of a Banyan residence over in Venice, so check them out. And I always like to end on talking about Feed the Front. Um, and so this week, actually, I saw that Noelle Waponti actually shared this on her page um, where they made the Sun of Port Charlotte newspaper. So feeding workers in the medical field, the story of Feed the Front. And here's a couple pictures of our ladies here and gentlemen. Um, and so you'll see some familiar faces there. And I believe this was from their drop um, as well in the last week or two. Um, I believe this is, I think this is Punta Gorda, um, Life Care Punta Gorda. So um, take a look at this article. I'll post the um, the link here, but it just talks about Feed the Front and how wonderful, again, uh, of a movement and organization um, across the counties. Again, this one's specifically geared toward Charlotte County, of course. Um, I know that Noel and Chelsea Place, you guys are putting in, and Southport Square putting in huge efforts. So great job down there and great job making the newspaper um, let's just keep this going. So thanks everybody for joining me this morning for this segment here of Weekend Update. Again, if uh, you have something you want to share, uh, you see a story like the one of the husband and wife reuniting, something that um, you know that would be great to be on the Weekend Update, just send me a quick email. And everybody, I hope you have lots of coffee on your Monday morning and have a fantastic start to your week. Bye now.